everybody. Praying all is well. Peace and peace, everybody. Praying all is well with all of you. I don't even think I vlogged at all today, which is wild. What in the world? Anyway, I'm getting ready to blot my face because I'm getting ready to go to Sunny's. I'm nervous, I'm nervous, I'm nervous, I'm nervous, I'm nervous because she is going to wax my arms for me. <laughs> She's gonna wax my underarms for me. And I have purposefully avoided shaving my underarms uh, for, the, for the last. Why am I so tongue tied when it comes to filming content? Jalen, just speak. Hold on. Okay. I have purpose. <laughs> what is wrong with my mouth? Maybe what I'm saying is kind of like tongue twisty. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna try one more time. So I have. So I have purposefully avoided shaving my underarms because I want Sunny to wax my underarms for me. And I'm really nervous. And so I have purposefully avoided shaving my underarms just for Sunny to shave them. And I said it wrong again. Hold on. So I have purposefully Girl. avoided shaving my underarms because I wanted Sunny to wax them for me. So that's what we're about to do. Let's go. Is it time? It's time. I've never in my life got my underarms waxed. I don't even want to raise my arms. That's why I'm like, huh. <laughs> Get it ready. I can already feel myself sweating. Gloves. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ooh. So firstly. My heart is thumping. <laughs> Why? Because. Look, she got the whole kit for you. Look, yeah, she got the pre-waxing spray. Scared. You're so strong, up. independent. I'm, I'm scared. Pull it mm -hmm, back. Hey, yeah. waste no time. Oh my God. Please. Don't okay. be no All right, hold this arm. <laughs> <laughs> Cause your hair grows up. My heart is. Is it time? Just, no, yeah, don't yeah, even count. Know. Just yank. Uh-uh. I need to count. Okay. No, you don't want me to count. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> one, two, three. All right. Okay, 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 All okay, right. okay. Let's see. Yeah. And that actually won't be bad. Yeah. yeah. Okay, period. Okay, period. I'm talking like, okay, period. Okay, period. You're going to say, period. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. There we go. Oh, that was good. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all. We're done. The who bag? The moon bag. Mm-hmm. All right, you guys. <sighs> I have finally made it out of the house. We are in Uniqlo. I just bought a couple things from H&M, but am I in your picture? <laughs> but yeah, I'm with the sunny girl. We are in Uniqlo. Is it Uniqlo or Uniqlo? Girl, don't ask. This is my first time. I don't know. <laughs> your third day out here. Because Laysa literally said it differently. I think she says Uniqlo or Uni Uniqlo. She says Uniqlo. Child be saying Uniqlo. I too. Same difference. But yeah, this is the store to find basics in, sweaters, t-shirts, all the things. So You like these? I think these are cute. I like the little navy ones too. <laughs> the pink is cute. You in your pink, you in your pink era right now. In my pink era. Pink era. I know it's weighing you down. I just know it. Because these little cheap paper bags. Okay. Weighing you down. A large. A .5. Yeah, I like these. But let's be real. I don't need no big bag like this, huh? Are these men's? Um. I think unisex, wouldn't they be? I think they'd be unisex. They, I, I do see a lot of large though, but I see some mediums. Maybe it's just a, wait, I like these. A gray. Yeah, this would match my um my robe. Are these men? I don't even know if this is for sale. Look at these. Are we going with that? Yes! Now I'm trying to zoom in. Zoom in. All right, y'all, we just made it to Summer's house. We're going to get some food. And it's Sunday and it's brunch. Yeah. So you already know. Might get a bottle of this, 
Are we okay? <laughs> no. I promise you, the only part I got that we be doing oh that with me. our voices. Oh <laughs> and naturally, because this was but not a conversation to have. It's not. But we it's just not, did. When I do it with my friends, they be like laughing. Mm -hmm. But they don't do it back, so it's like, it'll just be that oh one time. Oh my God. But or they might look at you like, huh? Mm, like, what you say? Honey, if I was to ever do that and I was getting looked at funny, I'm like, just never mind. I'm never, never doing it again. Mind. With you, I'm never doing it again. Yeah. But also, your girl invested in a new phone. Oh, we both invested in a new phone, actually. But I had two other phones, y'all, that I, I was using one and it kept running out of storage. And then I had another one that I was not using at all. I traded them both in. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. Because I tell y'all all the time, I'm all about saving some money. Why is this a $1,700 phone? I got it for eight, like $850. Because I turned in those other iPhones. Because this is a um, it's a one terabyte. So because we're tapping into that content this year, okay? Yeah. Like way more than we ever been. Like we've always been tapped in, but like way more than usual. So I wanted a better phone, with better quality, just for content purposes. But I need a case on this joint. Exactly. Oh, I ordered mine. You did. Fine. What kind did you get? Just clear so I can still see the back. I mean, like Otter Box, or um, is it just like regular? Um, you know, like those. Like clear. Like kind of like how we do these little cases, something like that. You got like a. You change your case every day. I change it with my outfit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love it. I'm, I'm like now noticing that. Honey, I like my cases to match my outfit. If I got a color for what I'm gonna put it on, I'm gonna swap it out. Respectable hours. Love yeah. that during the day. It's giving. I'm gonna talk about doing my friend tonight. Mm -hmm. yeah. Love that. I just love the. Just love it. Just love it. Come on, that phone. Do a picture like that. I would. Like that. Oh, you got your um, Instagram on it yet? Already? Let me set my. Uh, I just set up a new iCloud. <laughs> okay, can we start with? The signature guacamole. And can I substitute the toast and English muffin for like a pancake? Y'all, I am starving. I don't know why I've gotten in this habit of getting up. Like I got up and I was straightening up some stuff and then I had filmed something because I was trying to use my new phone. And I just was not hungry this morning. So then by the time I left, ran my little errands, had to make a return. Y'all, I was starving. And luckily, Sunny called me when she did. I was like, girl, I've been H&M. I need something to eat. Starving. Uh, sausage. How'd you sleep last night? Great. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yo, first of all, that guacamole we have. Torn up. Have y'all ever had sweet potato fries, like the sweet fries? Cause they put like cinnamon and sugar, sugar, cinnamon, whatever on it. A little bit out, just in case I don't like it, just in case. Oh no, 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 you don't pour them on there. Ew, just ew, dip ew, them, ew, yeah, ew. yeah. Like, but y'all gotta try it with honey. So let's see, let's see, let's see. That's a lot of, like all of that. Um, I would scrape a little bit off. Oh, okay. Cause me, like I would only do like. And then you said ketchup? Mm -hmm. Just honey by itself. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> it brings out like a different flavor. Mm -hmm. I love sweet potato Wait. fries with honey. Oh wow. Y'all, oh, these are so cute. Alright y'all, we are finding a little bit of luck. We are TJ Max. Now I make noise as soon as I'm It's okay. <laughs> but I'm trying to keep the theme with like a little splash of green here and there. So I like this because it has like a, it's very faint. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but it's very faint. So these can go in the kitchen. So I really like these. I'm going to get these. Now these are $12.99 too. $12? Uh, those work at $12.99. Too many weird. dots. Yeah. But look at this. I know it don't help, but that's kind of cool. But it was white. Makes, it just makes me want to squish it, even though I know it's not. Mm. Peace and peace, and good morning, everybody. Oh, let me put me on some sweatpants.
I don't know if y'all can hear it, but it's the construction outside of my window. And I wanna film, but I don't know if that will happen just because of the volume of the work that they are doing outside. Um, yeah. So that's constru that trash. Hold on. Y'all ever like put stuff in, in the trash can and you're just trying to figure out what you threw away that stinks so bad? I'm so lost and confused. Okay, trash has been taken out. Me and Sunny, we hung out most of the day yesterday. We went to Target and just some more places to grab a few things. Literally moved somewhere where they're doing construction every day and there's no way in the world I'll be able to film. I'm not even gonna overthink it right now, but it is what it is. But anyway, let's get into what I bought yesterday at Target. Thank you guys for coming back to another video. Be sure to check out the Bible verse of the day. I bought a phone case. I'm gonna throw the case away, but I bought some more. This is my favorite soap. This Dawn Spray Soap. And then I got the Mrs. Myers Clean Day Multi-Surface Everyday Cleaner. It's the mint scent. Then I had to get some more laundry detergent. My favorite, absolute favorite, Mighty Patches from Hero. And I got me some more pins. I love pins. I love like stationery. It's really one of my favorite things. So they had, for some reason back home, these are more expensive. So when I saw them in Target yesterday, I bought a bunch more. Right now, I think the only two pins that I have are a pink and white one. I don't know where the other ones went. So I bought a fresh pack. And then I saw these that kind of look the same. They're a little different, but they're by the same brand, Eco. I got those. And then we went to TJ Maxx as well. TJ Maxx, I got these for the kitchen. And I love these because these have like a little, like a little green tint to them. I was showing you guys yesterday. Oh, uh, I knew it, the sticker was not gonna come off. What way do y'all get the sticker off like of a bottle or something? I've, I've seen people use like a hair dryer with heat and that like loosens it up. I've seen people soak it off. So I don't know, I'm gonna have to figure out something so I can get it off as well. And then I bought something, and I'll be honest, I didn't necessarily need it, but I wanted to be more intentional about making memories, and I've never had like an actual photo album of just like my life and stuff, so I would love to just document photos and just kind of carry this with me throughout my life. I've, I love taking Polaroid pictures now, so I'm like, I can put my little Polaroids in here, digital cameras, all the things. When we go on the Costa Rica trip, I'll have pictures. Um, what else? Speaking of, let me message my girls and tell them good morning. I'm trying to look more decent on this internet. I curled my hair yesterday and I like it. I just wanted to test out to see if I could curl my hair in the way that I wanted it to curl. Um, and I think I did okay. My hair is very dirty. It needs to be washed like something crazy. Thought about doing my hair and then like curling it and showing y'all how I curl it. Cause right now it's kind of stiff, but I did figure out how to curl it. I did do that. So we are gonna do my hair. So that's what we'll film today. It'll have to be a freaking voiceover because of the construction. Anyway, I'm getting distracted, but yeah. I can put the Costa Rica pictures in here, Polaroid pictures I've already taken. I already have photos of me and my girl. So just different things like that. And they have machines now, which that's something I actually may purchase one day, but they have machines now where you can Bluetooth your phone to this like little photo printer and it'll print out photos kind of like a digital camera would do as a, you know, it just kind of keeps you from having to go to like a CVS or Walgreens or Walmart and printing them out that way. You can just have a little machine. Now, I don't know how much it is, but I definitely want to look into it because I want one. And I just want to put photos in here. And like I said, it will just be a photo album of my life. If the Lord allows me to see it as something that my kids could look at one day and be like, oh, mom, this was your life. <clears throat> oh, this is when you met daddy. These are your best friends. Like. I just wanna document photos and that's something I just never have done. So I really feel like I'm getting to that age where I'm like, okay, I really wanna be intentional about making memories. And then like whenever I get a coffee table, this could sit on my coffee table or something. So whenever I have guests, you know, they can look through my pictures and just kind of see, you know, and this is something I can just take with me throughout my life. So maybe I could put one in here. This could be like the soap and then, I also wanted one for like hand lotion to have. So yeah, I don't know. I just love how they look. I think they're beautiful. And I don't know if y'all can see the green. Okay, maybe up against my couch, you can see the green. 
Also, surprise, surprise. I finally got my couch. My couch is from West Elm. Let me move these pillows so y'all can see. The couch itself looks like. I put some extra pillows up here. Didn't come with the couch. So I'm just like, let me, let me scoochie Rooney these out of the way. This is the couch. I just got a black couch. Something simple. I'm not 100% happy with it just because the material on it is not like this. I don't know if y'all can even tell what kind of material this is. This is not what I wanted. This is just this is just not what I wanted. It'll suffice because I'm not going through the hassle. I'm okay with the color. The color has kind of grown on me. I'm okay with the color of it. I did think the couch was gonna be a little darker, like more of a true black. This is kind of like a, a gray black or maybe even like a charcoal. Not quite charcoal, but just kind of like a gray black. It's not as black as I wanted it to be. Um, and then the material on it isn't really like the velvet that I thought it was gonna be. I don't know if y'all can tell, but Sunny and Lacelo are in this picture. Y'all ain't gonna be able to see it. Yeah, Sunny and Lisa are in uh, this picture. They were helping me unpack. Here comes up clear. That's the one I was very excited to find. It's the underwear, the loungewear. I love it. Grace and peace and good morning everybody. It is a new day. I am starting my day off a little early because I wanted to get some filming done early this morning. So I'm getting ready to do my makeup and I wanna use some natural lighting and just kinda of take it easy. It's been hard to try to film how I wanna film because there's just construction. There's just construction every single day. So it makes it hard to, I don't know, it just makes it hard to film how I want to film and everything. So I'm trying to take what I can get. Yeah, I just, I don't see them stopping anytime soon, which is very frustrating. It's very frustrating. So just trying to do what I wanna do, do what I can do has been hard, but it's not like I can, Here's the thing, I could wake up before the construction people get here, right? And record, but the sun won't be up yet. And obviously I like natural sunlight to record videos. Or I could wait till the sun comes up, but then by then they'll be at work. I could wait till they get off, but because of daylight savings, it'll be dark. <laughs> so it's a lose-lose for me right now when it comes to trying to film um, how I want to film. So I'm just kind of taking what I can get I just know for me, I am working overtime to remain sane. I'm working overtime to be grounded. I'm working overtime to put my trust in the Lord and keep it there. I'm working overtime to continue to kill my flesh. I'm working overtime. It's not something I have to overkill or overdo. It's just something that I have to, again, it's a daily walk. It's just a daily walk. You gotta give yourself Daily grace, daily grace as you continue to go through this life because think about it, we have a timeline. It's not a timeline. You know, we put everything on a timeline, right? But essentially there are, and there is a time that will come when, you know, these earthly bodies of ours, these earthly dreams and goals of ours will just be no more. That'll just be a thing of the past. I have goals, as I have dreams, I'm just trying to find a balance between that this is a desire that I have, but also, is this God's desire for me? And even if it is, I can't get stuck on when it's coming. I can't get stuck on how it's gonna come. I can't get stuck on that. Like I said, there's just, it just might not look how you want, you know? But it's like, you know what, at the end of the day, Regardless of what, it's just a worldly standard that we put ourselves on. So imagine missing out on all the things that God is trying to give to you in your current season of where you're currently at, but you're so hyper fixated on what's to come or when you want this particular thing that you miss out on God's beautiful blessing that's already in front of you. And that's actually something that, I'm not gonna say that it scares me, but that's something that I do worry about sometimes with myself is that I'm so focused on the things that I can't wait for it to come, 
that I miss out on what's in front of me right now. And I'll be honest, you guys, one of those things is marriage. I def Not that I wanna be married right now, but I'm like, dang, at least I thought I would've met my husband by now. I thought at least I would have, you know, we'd already be in a relationship or courting already. And, you know, I just thought that would already be a thing, you know, but that's something that I thought would happen years ago. And I mean, when I say years ago, I mean, my dream was to be like, cause I've seen it, you know, be one of those like high school girls that just has like this long term boyfriend, this high school sweetheart. And you know, we, we end up together, we end up going to college together and we just do life together. That definitely didn't happen, but that's just not what God have, has for me. Hell, the way I do not like having to do my eyebrows is crazy. I would not even mind getting my eyebrows tattooed. On. Also, as an update, my Duolingo is coming along, coming along really well. Okay, I don't know what it is. I just really cannot talk while I do my eyebrows. Like, I don't care what I got going on. I'm not talking. Getting to that place now where I'm like, I'm grateful for it all. I am going through a more challenging season that's really, <sighs> this season that I'm in right now is really challenging me. <laughs> it really is. But anytime I'm like going through something, I'm just like, all right, God, like what's, you know, what's this called? Like what are we doing right now? But in the meantime, I'm like, okay, God, well, I don't want to miss out on what I'm supposed to be doing or missing out on godly assignments that I should be focused on. Like, I just don't want to miss certain things. I have to keep watch of things that are a distraction. I have to keep watch of things that are here to hurt me. I have to keep a watch out on, you know, people. I just allow God to guide my step every piece of the way and trust that he's gonna do just that. I, I just wiped off, like, I can't stand when I have, like, a foundation residue and stuff on my lips. I like it interferes with my um, my lip liner. Makeup is done. I didn't put any facial spray on just yet. I'm trying to see how I feel about the makeup. I don't know about y'all, but I don't really like to put edge control. Like if my hair is silk pressed or something, I don't really like to do edge control. I just like it to be kind of, but I feel like it would help because this right here ain't it. Ooh. Grace and peace. Another day, another outfit. I'm getting ready to go grab some breakfast before I head to my first meeting. And how cute, it's like a little moon bag. Okay, these are my rings. Okay, shout out to Rare Beauty. They sent me a beautiful PR package including their new hand cream. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that on. Have a blessed day, bye. Grace and peace, another day, another outfit. This is getting out of hand. <laughs> this construction is just getting out of hand at this point. And there's, what's what's hilarious is there's nothing I can do about it. But anyway, grace and peace and good morning, everybody. I am praying all is well with all of you. I'm getting ready to get my day started. And today is gonna be a fun day. We're gonna we have a few things that we're doing today, moving around. Somebody made a comment and said that all I do is walk around my apartment and talk. So let me, let's get out the house. We'll get out the house, girl. We can get out the house. Um. So today I'm going to get my nails done. I'm going back to the same girl that I went to before. And her name is Rachel B. And she is in, what is it called, Gaithersville? Is it Gaithersville, Maryland? Gaithers, something like that. I'll leave her info down below. But these are the nails I got before. I don't know if y'all can see. But these are the nails I got before. This is one month of growth. I've had these nails on for a month. 
and it is time, okay? <gasps> no, I left my tie out. It's gonna have to be good. Anyway, so me and Sunny are meeting up around like 11 if she still is in the mood. Um, I still want to, but we wanna go take some pictures. I want like a cute picture. Um, so we're gonna go do that. She wants a picture as well, so we're gonna go take some pictures for her. Oh, and then I have my nail appointment, but before that, I'm going to film some content. Did I show y'all how Sunny decorated my phone for me? So if I didn't tell y'all, yeah, I think I told y'all earlier when we was at this other restaurant, but I had two other iPhones that I had paid off. I traded them both in to get some money off, and I got a lot of money off on this phone. This is the 15 Pro Max. I got like that titanium, like silverish color in a one terabyte. Now, I'm always talking about money. So when I tell you this phone was $1,700, I got it for 800 and some change because of, I think it was like $830 because of the trade-ins that I had. So if you got old phones sitting around, see if you can get some money off. But yeah, I have a vlog to edit for y'all. I'm trying to work on, and I don't know why it's just been taking me so long, but I need to read, like I need to do a brand new intro and outro. I've had the same one for a little minute now. Also, I got these really pretty flowers. My management got me these flowers when my great grandmother had passed away uh, last week. And they got me these flowers and they're so pretty. Look at the PR package from Rare Beauty though. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. It came with their new hand lotion, which I already put in my purse. But then we have the big one. This is a, um, it's a body and hair fragrance mist. And then we got, excuse me. This is an aromatherapy pen. Yeah, it's like aromatherapy pen. The way she's using it is like, I don't know. And then there's the Fine Comfort Hydrating Body Lotion. I said they got this, they got this strapped down in here. Shout out to my mirror. Um, but yeah, this is the body lotion. And like I said, I have the hand lotion in my purse. If I could be anything I wanna be. I don't know what's wrong with my TV. Every single time I try to cut my TV on, it doesn't. But it'll do that sporadically. Like, there's nothing wrong with my TV. But it picks and chooses when it wants to come on and it's so annoying. So right now it's going through one of its spells. I'm not wanting to cut on. And also, I don't know if I showed you guys this too, but this is my new bag, a little moon bag from Aritzia. I'm gonna look for the link for it online and I'll drop it down below in the description box. And um, and I actually hope they have more colors because I love that bag. I wouldn't mind getting my mom one. She likes little bags too, so anytime I get a bag, I'm like thinking of her because she likes bags. I think that's probably where I get it from. I love bags. She loves bags. Yeah, like my house, like my room is not a mess. It's just, like what is this stuff? And then what is this stuff? You know? And what's so funny is I had a dream. I, I'm always having a dream, y'all. I had a dream last night that I was at my old um, house and I was cleaning and I was cleaning up. It was just, it was just, honestly, it was just a weird dream. My dreams I feel like are always weird to some degree. I don't know. It's about that time to wash my sheets again, yeah. So sometimes I'll do my hair in this chair and hair will get like in the seat and stuff. <laughs> so in the upcoming week, I wanna take a day to just kind of focus on still organizing my house. I'm still like, you know, organizing and I'm not unpacking anymore. The unpacking process is over. I want to kind of get more to the nitty gritty now and try to get a little more specific on, you know, what I got going on. Now I bought a new one, one of these. Now what did I do with it? I feel like things in my bathroom are pretty organized. I like it, I like how it looks. It's things I use. I thought I had did something crazy, but it was, I had already um, um, took everything out that bag. A new one, one of these. Needed that. I just I just have to make sure, okay? I just have to make sure. I haven't even checked the time, but I'm getting ready to kind of set up to film like a little TikTok. And yeah. Also, if you are wondering where my glasses are, these, I mean, are from, these are super old. They're from like one of the first um, Desi collections. I think this was with 
Key Australia. Yeah, she collabed with Key Australia. Desi got her own brand now, honey boo. She collabed with Key Australia some years ago, and these were sunglasses, but I bought them and popped them lenses out, and I put my prescription in there, so yeah, 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 yeah. Love these, but I'm about to put my contacts in because for obvious reasons. Did I put something on the calendar for Friday? I have an eye appointment. All right, you guys, I just got done filming a TikTok and my makeup came out so good. I was using some new products, so <clears throat> check out my TikTok. Just in case you don't have a TikTok, I, have, I do have to keep in mind a bit. Everything else I use the same, but these are the newest products I used. I used this foundation, and then I used, these are the NYX or NYX Pro Fix Sticks. So I used the Sienna one here at the end for contour, which I kind of feel like I took it down too far. I don't know. But then the concealers are really nice, y'all. I don't know, this might be my new routine. But my skin looks just really hydrated and youthful and just, and when I say youthful, I mean sometimes when I do my makeup, and I've seen some of y'all comment in the past, that sometimes how I've done my makeup makes me look older because like underneath my eyes, either it was the concealer I was using at the time or the powder I was using at the time um, really accentuated like bags under my eyes or just like lines under my eyes when I don't really have them or it was just making them look more than what I had or something. I don't know. But yeah, I always appreciate you guys' feedback. So, cause sometimes it might look good to me and it might not look that good. But then, you know, having feedback is okay. So I'm trying to decide, so I'm getting ready to film a get ready with me or like a get dressed with me for Instagram. But I'm trying to see if what outfit I wanna put on because I'm going to get my nails done. We're gonna take pictures if we're still gonna go. But then I'm going to, um, what's it called? I'm going to get my nails done. So, and then after that, I think I'm going to grab some, um, some lunch because I'm not eating till three today. I absolutely love this new sweater I got. It's from uh, H&M and I want to put it on with something so bad, but I really don't know what yet. I don't, I don't know what yet. I just thought this would be really cute. I don't know, but I did, I saw it so randomly. I feel like somebody got it and then put it back. So I grabbed it from one of those racks, but I really love it. So I don't know if I want to try to style this or something else. And then I don't know if y'all saw my Instagram, but I, tr I did like a try on haul of Uniqlo jeans. So I got a bunch of Uniqlo jeans. I'm like, well, should I just put on a pair of jeans today? Cause why not? Still cold outside, but a sweater I want to wear I really want to wear this sweater. The girls are calling it coquette now. <laughs> so I really want to wear this sweater. It's from Oak and Fort. And I really want to style this. So I think I'm going to go with this. What's so funny is I bought some jeans from Oak and Fort. I'm looking at the wrong camera. I bought some jeans from Oak and Fort not too long ago. But these are just like some really long um, uh, flared jeans. And I wear a size 27. Then I have these cream boots. These are some old rotter dies from Zara. I could wear these. Cause it could just be a cream moment because you already know what bag I'm grabbing. I always do my little coach uh, Lana 23 or my other coach bag, which this bag has been beat up with some. I've had this for some couple of years now. I mean, it's still in pretty okay shape. I think this one will go a little bit better. I think I'm gonna wear a bodysuit today. Keep me, keep me cinched. Okay, I'm gonna put on my undergarments, BRB. Hey guys, so I'm getting ready to swap cameras here in just a second because I'm getting ready to leave. Trying to swap purses, y'all. I'm telling you, when you swap bags, you gotta make sure everything you need is in these other bags because it is nothing worse than swapping a purse and then you left something that you wanted or needed in that bag and you no longer have it with you. So I have, I think I have everything. So I was looking at my outfit today and I was like, this bag would've went cute. I don't know. The only thing with this one, it's like, it's, it's different creams. But it's, I'm still gonna bring it because this is what I'm putting my camera in. So either way it's coming with, but I think I'm gonna just stick with that bag. I'm gonna switch y'all out to my smaller camera cause that one has been on the charger. Y'all will be proud of me. She has been sitting on the charger. So I'm gonna switch y'all out. Three, two, one.
you guys. I am back home. <sighs> Ooh, hi guys. So I am back at the house. I didn't even take out with I didn't even take out with me because I was just going through. Y'all told y'all earlier my cycle has started. So I'm like moody. <laughs> I thought you can see it in my eyes when I say I'm trying to like, I don't know, it's just it's interesting how your mood changes because when i say i was super hyper and just i filmed four videos earlier today like i've been up since like six i watched the sunrise i filmed content like i just been in my zone okay and um so now it's time for the podcast the host is having a little bit of technical issues so i'm just waiting on her now it's 207 um and we're scheduled for two o'clock so just waiting on her um and then we're gonna get the podcast started I'm really excited, I'm trying to fight through my hormones because I'm just moody and I'm irritated. But <laughs> I mentioned this podcast before and somebody had, um, we got Lacey over here about to. Oh, I almost died. Are you okay? Literally wasn't breathing for a moment. Right. I mean, you're breathing, so I'm just like, I don't know what to do. You're, if you, you would have. let me go in, you gonna let me die, wow. Wow, real friends. Layla, real stop, friends. bro, no. You hate me, just say that. No. So we're about, listen, oh. when they tell you all your girlfriends, like you'll start to get in sync with your cycles is facts. Why was my period three days late? My period is never late, never late. I pride myself on how much I've kept up with my uh, period tracker. So when it says, oh, one day away, best believe, it's on the next day, the next morning. This time, three days late. Mm hmm. Lisa, you, cause you had, what day you come on yours? So this is your day one. See, I should technically be day three already. I'd already be halfway through my cycle. Well, almost done, cause my period usually lasts about four days anyway. Oh, how we doing? Oh, this is my. You calling me a B-I-T-C-A? I'm not gonna call you that. <laughs> I love you. Not the church hug. How is that in church? I'm trying not to make makeup on your white hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> you already called me a grandma, just... I was like... No, I, listen, when you take that makeup off, I better... You can get a bear hug. I'm like this, because I'm like... Mm. One thing about a black couch, it's gonna show everything. I am. Wow. Oh. We're working through our hormones right now. Yay, being a woman. Unite, uh, <laughs> girl, going through. But this is my little si <laughs> Grace and peace, everybody. Praying all is well. Today is Friday, February the 9th. It's the 9th. Um, but I'm getting ready to go to the eye doctor. I needed to give me a new eye doctor out here so we're going to the eye doctor today i need an updated eye exam because when i tell you i cannot see which reminds me i probably need i probably need like a spare pair of glasses huh because just in case they make me take my contacts out you know but anyway yeah i'm getting ready to go do that and then i'm going to have a little solo lunch date with myself i got my laptop so i can edit this vlog, some other footage I wanna film. I've got some other things I wanna do. I got my books to read. I got all the things that I need. So I'm really ready to hit the town. So I got my little fanny pack, but I need to be so realistic with myself. But yeah, I just wanna make sure I have everything I need. And then when I get to the car, I need to fill out, actually I may do that before I leave. I need to fill out this thing for the eye doctor to make sure I have everything. So let me do that and then I'll come back. Home. This coffee shop I go to has like these little croissants. So I got one of those. I'm trying to see where I can sit y'all. Yeah. So I got one of those croissants. It's very, very good. They've been sold out of them. I don't know if it was a new item, but every time I've probably gone back twice for one. And they and they're always sold out. So when I got there, there was one left. So I'll take that as more of just God's love and grace and kindness towards me. Thank you, Lord. I don't know what possessed me to wear white pants today, knowing good and well. My cycle is on, even though I got on protection like no other right now. But 
I don't know why, and I know it's a mind thing, but when I walked into the coffee shop, as soon as I walked in, my mind was like, oh my gosh, there's something on my pants. I'm bleeding through my pants now. And it's like, Jalen, no, you're not, bro. <laughs> like, But this is what it looks like. Shout out to a subscriber, a supporter. Her name is Simone. I saw her in the coffee shop. Super sweet. I appreciate you, girl. It was so nice meeting you. I was gonna say bye, but she was like doing something at the time, so I was like, I don't wanna bother her. I refuse to let anything get my spirits down today. I'm in a great space. I'm in a great mood. I did lots of filming this morning, which was so exciting and so happy about that. So yes, yeah, so there's just more that I wanna do and talk about and film. Finally edited this long, it's a longer TikTok, but it's, it's just what I really wanted to do. Right, guys i am done at the eye doctor i ordered my contacts my contacts weren't as expensive as i thought i'm in between insurances right now so i have to wait for my other one to kick in which i could have just waited but y'all when i say my eyes were done for but it wasn't that expensive i was really happy about that i thought it was going to be some outrageous amount the area i was in can get pretty congested and it's the weekend so it's like everybody's out everybody's trying to be out and enjoy their time which i love to see but it's super congested so i'm gonna go to a less congested area and try to get some work um done and everything so but y'all when i tell you so i did the podcast yesterday and it went so well she told me my episode should come out the end of february if not the beginning of march and i'm really excited it wasn't a super long podcast yeah it's just really 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 nice and i'm just so excited to have been a part and to just experience being on someone else's podcast because it's given me so much inspiration for the future i just want to further say like i'm super happy and i'm super grateful for you all just for like all of your support because it does not go unnoticed and it helps me out so much to be able to share my testimony and share the goodness of the Lord and the gospel and the things I'm learning as I'm journeying through the word and just all of these things is just a full circle moment and we got to talk about that a little bit on the podcast and um, just I'm just in awe of how God continues to move in my life and I just <laughs> so also with my eye exam listen I'm not saying I'm not saying that my eyes are getting better but they're not getting worse and that is a blessing that is such a blessing because i wear a negative seven five i mean a negative 4.75 and then in one eye is like a negative five but today one eye was a negative 4.5 and then the other one was still a negative seven uh 4.75 and i'm just looking like mm, i asked the doctor i'm like does that mean like they're just like getting better and because this is a new doctor she was like you know i can't really tell if they're getting better because we don't have like your other exams which uh duh but um i didn't forward my stuff over to them just yet because i was just trying to like shop around doctors and stuff but um but i'm a believer and i believe the lord will hear my eyesight okay i believe it i can't like my eyesight when I, as soon as i took my contacts out so we could like see what my eyes were doing um without contacts or glasses i was like "Ooh, y'all i can't see and she was like i understand so um so we did the eye exam and everything but when i tell you i believe god i believe god to heal my eyes i believe god to believe him for it all i do i believe that he can heal my eyesight i believe i can have 2020 vision at least even if he doesn't heal it to 2020 vision i just pray that they don't continue to worsen that they don't worsen that's that's all i'm saying i just don't want them to worsen because you know as you get older your eyesight kind of gives a little bit too so so anyway i'm just happy i got my updated eye exam they said they're gonna email me my prescription so when i want to order con i mean uh if i want to order glasses and everything i can do that i'm super excited Grace and peace. I just made it home from working at the bookstore, checking some mail. <laughs> I just went to the mail room and had a bunch of stuff. So, <gasps> oh, where's my work phone? Let me open this up. Let me record this a little bit. Hey, y'all. Hold on, hold on. Okay, that's 0514 is. Ooh, we got a little dark lip. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Love that. 
And then I wanna swatch these, so come back for another video, we'll swatch them. Ooh, I think I'm gonna like shade 15 too. What's this? Being Frenchy, this is the 2024 Ritual Final. Ooh, okay, If you don't know what Being Frenchy is, it is a linen body and hair mist. I have the Cloud Lavender, or something like that, that I spray on my bed. Ooh. <clears throat> Georgia Armani sent me PR? Ah, this is too much. Hi, Jalen. We'd love to invite you to celebrate Armani Beauty's iconic luminous silk collection, our ultimate expression of shimmer and warmth for a radiant lit from within glow to beat the winter blues. Luminous silk is the OG. We got concealer and we got the primer. So we're definitely going to try those out because I worked with Georgia Armani, um, I think 2022. And um, I used the 8.75. This one, it's definitely too dark, but they sent me 7.5 and I'm excited to try that one because even the concealer is 7.5 and like, where is that? Ah, <laughs> this is such an exciting day. I've, I've had a great day today, actually. Thank you so much for thinking of me. I don't, I can't even, I can't. I bought some more Warby Parker stuff um, that I had and I'm talking to my YouTube Y'all check me out on YouTube, I'm talking to them too. Um, but I was showing y'all on TikTok that I got a green Warby Parker eyeglass case and I just could not pass up on the pink and brown. Are you kidding me? Okay, I got a pair of glasses in here right now, but this is the green one. Warby Parker, are you kidding? These are so fun. Look at that y'all. Okay, let's open this up. <gasps> Okay, so this is their Black Optum perfume. What? What, God? What? Ooh. Ooh. Let me show y'all. So I'm gonna do like, like this here and then show the YSL. I'm gonna do both of my, well, I got three YSL boxes. Are like, stop playing with me now. Come on, God, do your big one. That's my, that's my father right now. Then we got some YSL beauty. Way just went crazy and sent me so much stuff. So when I say I'm so happy about this um, hand soap, I, don't, I think that's just an understatement because I'm about to scroll all the way down on some Instagram videos to see if I can find that video of when I got my, like one of my first PR unboxings. It's such an old video, so I'm gonna have to scroll for a while. So I'll be back and then I'll show y'all what I'm talking about. Okay, actually I didn't have to scroll that long, but look, here it is. What's up y'all? So actually, while I do that, let me screen record so I don't have to redo it again. What's up y'all? So I have a box from CoverGirl. Look at this, y'all. The box is huge. Look at this. Oh, y'all. When I tell you today has been a day, it's been a good day. It's only 6.28. But I'm trying to see what kind of mood I'm in um, if I wanted to go out. Yeah, I'm just trying to see if I wanted to go out and like maybe grab some dinner or something. I just feel pretty and like I've had, I, mean, I definitely had a very good week actually. All right guys, so I am getting dressed. My face looks a little funny because I am touching up my makeup because I decided I'm going out. So it's Friday night and I wanna go out. And you wanna know why I'm going out? It's because I saw my apartment manager in the elevator when I was gonna check my mail. And she was like, what are the plans tonight? And I was like, mm, nothing. Probably just gonna sit in the house and just chill. I've been working all day. And she was like, please don't waste your makeup. Don't waste your makeup. So shout out to the apartment manager. This is for you. Why do you like scary movies so much, mom? Me? Me? You know me? Oh, okay. You had this part for a few weeks last week. I don't know. Making your rage on the new name today. Mm-hmm. 
I talked to her last night. We back to oh the cut. We back to the cutting talk. Mm -hmm. All my beans and steaks and dubs. Exactly. You gonna relax and then rewind it. We don't want no, we don't want no bees and stuff flying around. They roll, the snake roll them up. You know, do that day. Grace and peace and good morning everybody praying all is well with all of you I am watching Sunny Girl I'm actually getting ready to get up and really get myself together I'm like this is real life. I cut the camera on, I ain't brushed my teeth, I ain't showered yet. I'm all types of needed to get it together. Now y'all's niece, I don't know what's going on with her, but y'all's niece has been whining, whining. And I feel like she just wants to see what's up here. So this is your reminder, maybe show your dog a different level of the house. They see everything on a lower level. Show them, show them up top on the kitchen. Show them up top of the refrigerator. Show them some cabinets. Okay, bye. <laughs> Y'all, so there is this hairstyle that I want to, a recreation. I just want to do this hairstyle and I really want to see if I can do it. It's so cute and it's like this little flip up situation. But here's the catch. I have a lunch date today and I don't need my hair not turning out right. So I feel like today ain't the day to be experimenting with hairstyles, you feel what I'm saying? So I don't know what to do. I wanna do the hairstyle, I think it's adorable. What? I don't know what she, I don't know what she's barking at with this bathroom, I don't understand. Jesus, Jesus. Demons flee at the name of Jesus. You, Avery, you see some. We protected in this house. We're covered by the blood of the lamb. Okay, so I'm about to watch Sunny. She has a maintenance day vlog up. She posted this a day ago. I ain't even watched it yet. Terrible front of me. Um, anyway, so it's like, mine as well. All right, y'all, I am showered, clean, hair washed, and blow dried. We are getting ready to start the filming portion. Ugh. Ooh, y'all. All right, I got y'all here. I got my phone here. I gotta make sure. So there's this hairstyle I wanna try, and I think it's really cute. I'm really, like, risking it all today because I have something important to do today, and if it doesn't come out right, then I may be looking crazy. But we're gonna try it. Little mini skirts and skin. Oh, I'll let him know that you're here. Thanks. Mr. Fenton, Miss Smith is here to see you. Okay, I will send her in. He's just finishing up right now. You can go right in. Thanks, Cynthia. And now for me and my girls. We were looking good and acting the hair. Her boss got a divorce. And some new underwear. I mean, you know, yeah, I wear food of the loose, but. I want to try Calvin Klein's. You're the one that messed up, all right? And the person who messes up first can call first. Hello. Hello. Hey, y'all. I'm getting ready to go out. Here's my little outfit today look at you big girl jumping on the couch Ooh, but but yeah i'm gonna switch you guys to my other camera i am going to make sure it is not on slow-mo today okay so let's get into it all right now this is the test uh test run one second okay we are all ready to go i think i guess 
A little matching phone case. I'm excited. I love my little outfit today. It's really cute. I didn't think I was gonna go this route, but honestly, I am really in this era. I'm really in this, this era of just loving on my body, wearing what feels good. We loving it out here, so. Teeth looks nice and fresh and clean. I love that. They're doing heavy construction today, so that's been fun to listen to. And I was telling y'all earlier how they do it on the weekends now. So it's not just a weekly thing. I can't even get by and try to slide and glide and work on the weekend. If y'all have been watching my TikTok content and all that stuff so far, like you, I'm sure you've heard of all the construction in the background. So but anyway, your girl is ready to go. All right, you guys, I am back in my car. I ran into Ulta real quick to pick up a couple of items. And I wanna show you what I got. So Sunny put me on to these makeup wipes. When I'm at her house and if I have a makeup, she's like, do you want a makeup wipe? I'm like, yes. And she has these and they're so good. So I bought a pack, um, had to re-up on one of my go-to primers. I run out of this stuff like clockwork. I got another one of these um, 402 brushes. It's like a concealer brush. I have, I have two of the other one that I like to use to blend in my contour and concealer. So I got another one just to have a double up. And then I like this Halo foundation so much that I have the shade 3.5, but it's a touch too light um, to the point that I, in certain lighting it looks good and other lighting is not so much. Or maybe just when I add my other like uh, products and stuff, it'll warm it up. But I was like, I'm going to try the 4. This is the 4 because I use 3.5 right now. It's a touch too light, so I got the 4. So we're going to see what that looks like um hopefully that will look pretty good um but i got like a couple of compliments while i was out and just made me feel so good because i was like i like this outfit but of course just trying to step into feeling good and you know about certain outfits that you like to wear can be a little tricky sometimes so that made me feel really good so thank you lord for that and i recognize i try to do so much with like getting full body stuff that i forgot to like take selfies like I don't take selfies grace and peace and good morning praying all is well with all of you we're getting ready for church and going to a different church today a new church today out here in my area and I'm really excited just filmed a whole like get ready with me on TikTok if y'all want to go check it out but yeah I'm at the end of like me getting ready because as y'all can see everything else is pretty much done and makeup came out really good I tried out a new mascara today. It's a waterproof one. So we're going to see if that one stands the test of time in church. Because y'all really know. All right, y'all. So next up on the menu is figuring out what I'm going to wear. I kind of have an idea of how they dress there. But it's the house of God nonetheless. So <laughs> I'm going to oh. It's the house of God nonetheless. So I'm going to dress accordingly anyway. I know Avery is like, why do you keep making so much noise? I'm so sorry, boo. I keep waking you up. Look at your hair all mashed. I'm sorry. Go back to bed. You're the most beautiful girl. You my booga booga. All right. Let's see. I know I've had this skirt on my mind for days now, and I really want to wear it. But I don't know. I have like this silky skirt. But I don't know how I'm feeling. But when I say I love a monochromatic situation, so what I'm thinking about is this skirt with like a white sweater. Only thing is these boots right here hurt my feet so bad and I just don't know if I want to do that to myself today. Ooh, I actually haven't worn this yet. Okay, I finally figured out what I'm going to wear to church. Bringing this little coach bag. I don't know. Because you can't fit but so much in here and I need a few extra things today. So I got hand sanitizer, my sanitary napkins, lip products. But I still want to leave at 9.30. So, because if I was to leave right now, I would get there at 9.45. Right now, I got like a little less than 30 minutes before I want to leave. Um, I was told to get, I'm going to the 10. They have two services. They have one service going on right now that started at like 8.45. And then they have another one that's at 10.45. I'm going to the 10.45 service. Amen. So, um, but y'all, I'm really excited. I pray that this, um, Going to this church is really good for me. 
I'm really excited, honestly, truly. I hope I'm not overdressed. Like, when I tell you, I come from where we dress, you know how some churches, like, you dress up. Like, you dress up to church. And then there are other churches, like, they, you know, they're a little more casual. Like, they do jeans. Like, everybody does jeans and stuff. So, I come from a Baptist church where we wore tights. Like, everything was souped up. Then the other church I went to, souped up. The other church I went to, souped up. So, that's just my norm. So, I feel like I'm kind of scared I might be overdressed, but either way. Alrighty, guys. We are en route. I am headed to the house of the Lord. <laughs> very, very, very excited. I couldn't find the address I'm trying to put it in my car. So, that was interesting. So, I have it on my phone. Um, so, we should be good. But I like putting it into my car because, excuse me, when you put the address in the, in the Tesla... It'll show you like what percentage you'll be on when you get there, which I have a lot of percentage, so I'm not tripping about that. It's just, I just like to see just in case and <laughs> be, be extra prepared. But I'm making um, great time. I wanted to be there by 1030. And as of right now, it says I'll get there at 1020. So, God, I hope you're proud of me. <laughs> I'm gonna say, I'm at a stoplight. I can get jiggy with it right now. Um, so I am I just finished having an amazing dinner. I went to this place called Sweetwater. When I tell you it was so bouncing cable bomb, like it was jumping cable bomb. It was banging through the teeth, banging through the gums banging through the car banging through the roof of the car it was so delicious i'm gonna put y'all up here it was so delicious but it is time to go home it is 2 26. i am definitely ready to hit the club and the club be in the house yeah but yeah y'all it is a more on the gloomier side today but listen all the all all days are a day that the Lord has made, so we're going to rejoice and be glad in all of it. You know what I'm talking about? Church was amazing. I have absolutely no complaints. The hospitality was a major 10 out of 10. I have, when I say, if I wanted to find something to dislike, I can't. I can't. Like, I literally can't. It was such a beautiful first time experience. I saw a supporter in there. Like, shout out to you, girl. Like, I just... It was just such an amazing, amazing time, and I really love being in the house of the Lord. Like, I really love being in the house of God, and it's something about being in the house. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's one thing to watch online. Cool. Like, that can suffice sometimes, but there is nothing like being in the church, in the house of the Lord, with other believers, other people worshiping and praising our Father. <sighs> but yeah, so when I get home, I'm going to straighten up a little bit, because I don't know what it is about <laughs> the mess that is always made when trying to get ready for church. It's just, I don't know, it's interesting. I guess because I don't know what I'm gonna wear the day of service. So obviously, as you can tell, I'm not getting prepared like I should, but anyway. Cool, y'all. Okay, this is work stuff. We have a big PR package. This is Florence by, Mil by Mills, the Confidence Club. These are surfing under the eyes, hydrating under eye treatment gel pads. Thank you so much. Thank y'all so much. And then this is a handwritten note. I love handwritten notes. It's so personal. Um, it says, hi, Jalen. I'm so excited to share Florence by Mills fashion with you. My goal was to create a fashion line that feels good 24 seven and moves with you. Can't wait to see how you wear it. I love your content. I can cry, stuff like that is so sweet. Um, feeling good, not feeling in. And this is a, um, it's a journal and it has the kind of pages I love to write on. Oh, this is so nice. Thank you, so, and this color is gorgeous. Thank you so much, it's literally, a little journal I can write in. I love this. So let's see what the clothing is. We have two items in here, so let's see. 
gray sweatshirt. And it's so soft. Wow. Wow, this is very soft. I love this. So I'm going to put one on now. I know that's right. And then we have something else. Ooh, these sweatpants. Yes, Lord. From the bottom of my heart to the depths of my soul. Yes, Lord. Look at this, this is so nice. It's literally a matching sweat suit. I'm gonna put this on because I'm just that excited and I wanna give them a shout out because this was so sweet. Y'all, it's so nice. Let me show y'all in the mirror. <laughs> it's so comfy. Ooh, and it has like a perfect amount of length. Oh, this is cute. I gotta see if they have more colors because this is what I'm talking about. It's so funny because Avery sometimes does not wait to eat until I get back home from wherever I've been. I think it's just like a comfort thing. Like when she's eating, she's like vulnerable. Let me go, boo. It's like she's vulnerable. She wants to make sure like she's safe and stuff when she eats. This is the second time I've dropped this camera today. Um, like she wants to make sure that she's safe when she eats and stuff. And honestly, I say it's the cutest thing ever. I love her. Avery, stop, get off me. Don't rip up my Florence, uh, my Florence pants. From the bottom of my heart to the depths of my soul, yes, Lord. Completely, yes, my soul says yes. Mm. That song down in your spirit. Me curling my hair, like my hair is gonna be curled like this for days. Like anytime I curl it heavy, I don't I don't know what it is. I think part of it is that um that big sexy hairspray that I use. It feels it just I don't know, it kind of feels like it thickens my hair up. Should have brought that bobby, that one bobby pin I had, should have brought that in here. But this sweatsuit is so comfy. I could put this on with anything. I mean, it's just literally just like a comfy sweatsuit situation but i want to style it cute real quick while i'm up i'm gonna get my gray new balances because of course hey y'all <clears throat> it is 6 18 i'm actually getting ready to wind it down and take this makeup off <sighs> Found myself getting a little mm -hmm. but we repeat that in the name of jesus i need to go pray but yeah, I just want to take my makeup off. I need this makeup off now. Try these makeup wipes I was telling y'all about. I told you Sunny had put me onto these. And they're so good. Usually, I would take my makeup off with this, the Versed um, Cleansing Balm. And I would usually use that. Or I would use some of this Lumify Eye Illuminations stuff. Either one, but I've been using just these, like when, I don't know. But just look how easy everything comes off. Like, and whatever is in these things, it's just, I don't know, it just makes my skin look good. <clears throat> Even as I'm taking these off. <sighs> but I really like these makeup wipes. They're very, very, very nice. My skin still feels really good. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and call it. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'm ready to watch me a little bit of Girlfriends. I want to continue to read my book. I'm still reading The Housemaid Secrets and The Awe of God, which is in there I need to go grab. So I'm going to spend the evening and read and finish my editing so that way I have a fresh start to the week. So, so as always, if you guys are new, I'm Jay. If you're not new, I thank you so much for supporting me with whatever I do here with my channel. I love each and every one of you to know in. And of course, until next time, God willing, I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.